Good afternoon. It's Monday the 8th of July. Here I am back at Cedar Creek, 40 minutes from Brisbane City, to com continue on cleaning this house ready for sale in the next few weeks. The owner has asked me to clean the solar panels, which I have done, and you would have seen that on my previous video on the, his shed. He's now asked me to clean the pavers that are pretty bad surrounding the house. I have already started that project and then tomorrow I'll be back to wash the exterior of the house, a beautiful house here in Cedar Creek, uh, surrounded by beautiful uh, mountains and almost like a Garden of Eden, I guess you'd say. Um, I'm just right next to my trusty Triton. That's my advertisement on the side of my car, Sanford House Washing. That's the local number here in um, Sanford where I'm based, 32892836. And also I have a website which I identify on the back of the vehicle at sanfordhousewashing.com.au with my Broncos logo and Broncos paraphernalia which adorns the back of my car and the Broncos number plate my local football team we're not doing too well this year so I've filled a source of chlorine this is pure chlorine you'll see why in a minute it's from these little drums I get from the local pool shop and the tube follows from that source up to my lance. This is my uh, bigger machine. I call it Big Bertha. It's a 15 amp machine. I use that on big projects. Probably use it tomorrow. So we're just trekking through. Careful we don't knock anything over. And here are the pavers that look very clean. The reason is I have cleaned them in the last couple of days and made a big difference but this is how they were pretty horrible they're caked with mold dirt mud and they have surrounded the house the perimeter of the house and i've spent a couple of hours here this morning starting to clean them and here you can see the difference already looking fresher and more presentable for sale than here in this murky mess believe it or not underneath there are red clean pavers and this is where I started here this morning it's now all nice and clean this was all black absolutely black with mould we've had a few showers here this morning but the sun it's coming out. Nice timing for it. I'll just pan around where I'm based here today. Cedar Creek, which is surrounded by mountains. It gets very humid here. Hence a lot of mould develops here. This particular property is probably on about five acres. Very quiet, <laughs> lovely part of the world. And that's just, this is where... I call my office for the next day or two. This is the project for tomorrow, clean the exterior of the house. It's particularly grimy. To do that I'll wash the, give it a soft wash tomorrow. Remove, there's a lot of mould hanging around, unsightly. It probably needs a good paint, but we'll get through, tidy it up as best we can. And that, that's on tomorrow's project, more of the uh, where I'm working. This won't be a big video today, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about where I have spent this morning. Water tanks over there, they're on uh, rainwater supply here. And um, so it's pretty valuable. We don't want to waste too much water. So back to the project again this is the area I have cleaned this morning 
looks more presentable, as you'd agree. And this is where the sort of stuff I need to clean still. This is a bit unsightly and whatever. And um, when we've finished that, that'll be it for the day. But for a few minutes, I'll just take you through. What I'm going to do initially is soak it, pre-soak it with the pure chlorine. We need pure chlorine here because it's so bad. We won't use the the whirly device, I call it, on this project because we didn't need to dig in to all the mould and dirt, which is just caked right in there and needs to come out. So it would be pointless using the whirly here today. So we'll give him a rest. So at the moment I'm just going to layer up, turn my trusty karcher on. It's got all the power I want. I don't need anything stronger for this project. And we're going to push We're going to push through and layer up on this last section I've got to do, but I wanted to show you how I did it and to do that we'll just turn on the switch. had the valve turned off and now the valve is open it allows the chlorine to start coming through through the uh, PVC tube and I've added some detergents as well some dishwashing detergent just to give it a bit of soapy texture and once this is done, we'll change to use the turbo head means of cleaning. And that's a really strong pressure generated it's dirt blaster, a cartridge dirt blaster, power head that I use. And then what we'll do is push the residue which is everywhere here at the moment, pretty bad. Right down the end, and we'll get rid of it down there. Tidy up this bit of concrete here. We're going to pre-soak this as well. Give it a good lather of chlorine. There's no point in diluting chlorine on this project. It needs to be fairly strong to do the job. The agent, real estate agent, is coming tomorrow to see the property. So I'd certainly like to get this part of the project done this afternoon before I head home to Sanford. Sunset at the moment at Sanford is around 10 past 5. So that will be handy to be home by then. But the main thing is here we don't want just getting on the plants because it's pretty strong sort of stuff and I'll hose them down anyway plus for sure there'll be another some more rain coming this afternoon so this is all looking nice 
and Soapy. I have clients who watch me on YouTube from America now and it's interesting to compare how they approach things differently the way I do it to clean a property but um, over there at the moment it's summer and their days are pretty long so they're able to get more work in There's probably another job another project they can do in the time we have here at the moment schools have gone back here in Queensland in Australia Brisbane today so traffic will be a bit more hectic on the way home the solar panels I cleaned last Friday are above me on this roof and uh, that was a, a good job to get out of the way roofs are very dangerous to work on and it's always nice to come back down to Mother Earth and probably I'm thinking I've got enough here at the moment suds up nicely so I'm going to switch to my I'm going to disconnect my nozzle I'm using here and connect with the turbo head to start cleaning so we'll just stop that for a second we're just going to pick up our trusty dirt blaster it's got plenty of power and we're just going to remove the what we might do is we might put the camera there for a second you can watch a bit of activity there We're back in business. We now have the turbo head on, and you can see it's generating a lot of pressure, and it'll make its job much easier to clean, get rid of all that mould. You can see between the pavers, which we now see as the colour red. Um, heaps of grass and mould that we're able to remove now that we're using the turbo head nozzle you can see it's creating a big difference to what was there before and it's just a simple equation of covering all the area that mould affected and cleaning the surface, rinsing it off, letting it dry and the project will be complete. Fortunately I've got fine weather for the next couple of hours and We'll get that done by sundown. 
So this is quite easy. You can see the difference now. Having put the chlorine and detergents down on the surface, the end result will be a very clean surface and come tomorrow it'll be nice and dry so I just wanted to show you that sort of demonstration if we move on to the concrete we can see the same effect You can see, because we've used full strength chlorine, the difference is amazing. The surface will come back nice and clean. And I'm sure the owner will be happy with the end result. And certainly I hope it will help him sell the house presented nicely when he uh, decides to sell. But tomorrow I'll be back to continue. I don't employ anyone, so it's up to me to plan for these projects and in many ways it's easier being self-employed rather than having to manage other people on the job site. The job is difficult as it is, very physical, and you don't need additional dramas. So I've always approached my business over 36 years to not employ anyone. And so far, I've been happy with the way that's gone. I have about 1,500 accounts, 1,500 accounts to keep me busy. And some of them go back 30, 30 plus years. And some of them, even their, their children, are now getting me to do work for them. So it's been one big family tree I've built over the years. But in the meantime, we've got this project to uh, focus on. I've got a busy few weeks on at the moment with bookings. Properties going on the market. Properties just need cleaning. I clean them every two or three years. Some you never hear of again. But this part of the world, Cedar Creek, the more likely you'll see them every year because of the amount of mould, amount of mould that just takes over the whole area. And so Cedar Creek has always been a busy area for me. I'm doing another one, Cedar Creek, next week. Unfortunately, it gets flood prone and access in can be caught with danger in the flood season. The roads can come up quickly and you can be caught out trying to get home after you've done a hard day's work. So that's the only downside to working at Cedar Creek. It's about 20 minutes drive for me to my home, so I'm pretty happy with that. But sometimes with the amount of rain you get here, you just got to be wary that you're not going to miss the uh, crossing the last bridge before it goes under. Usually it's in February or March when we get most of our heavy rainfall. So at the moment, things are looking good here. I'm going to finish filming for the day and 
all being well I'll do another video tomorrow showing washing the exterior of the house and hopefully we get it ready for the real estate agent to see as well so that's the amount of filming we need to do today just uh, closing out now at Cedar Creek we've got a fair bit of work here to do this afternoon but you can see there's plenty to be done so we'll check out today maybe see you tomorrow it's Rowan from Sanford House Washing www.sanfordhousewashing.com.au or you're watching me on YouTube at Sanford Housewashing. See you tomorrow. Bye.